All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors, however, may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. As if things weren't bad enough for the Romilotti family what with Heather's untimely demise, it appears as though the situation will soon become far, far worse. And after what happens next, Phyllis will positively lose her mind. As all young and restless characters should know by now, especially Sharon, if you mess with Daniel, you will have to contend with his mother. Now that's trouble on a whole other level. Unfortunately, Sharon didn't have the luxury of time after killing Heather. She had to determine her next steps on the fly and whilst a battle continued to rage within her own mind. The late baddie Cameron Kirsten has been living rent-free in Sharon's subconscious and was the driving force behind her decision to make Daniel pay for the life he took, her daughter Cassie, by framing him for the murder of his lady love, Heather. One would think offing his life partner would have satisfied the thirst for revenge, but here we are. Sharon planted the bloody towels she used to clean up at the scene of the crime, as well as Heather's cell phone, from which she'd been texting Daniel, in the poor guy's liquor cabinet. Stock up on luxurious bath towels $35.99 plus. Buy now on Amazon. We predict that old Chance is going to wish he'd never stepped foot back in the GCPD once he realizes he has to arrest the grieving man who just happens to be his girlfriend's brother. Even worse he'll have to deal with Phyllis, who will undoubtedly go scorched earth. It's a foregone conclusion that Phyllis will absolutely lose her mind when Chance slaps the cuffs on her son and accuses him of killing the woman he loved. Yes, kids, things are gonna get ugly. Considering that Red is already fuming at Sharon for upsetting Heather and her family before the death, she's bound to go after her former rival, which could trigger Sharon to act out, and well, we shudder to think of how badly awry all of this could go. So how ugly will it get? We asked Michelle Stafford just how far Phyllis would go to protect Daniel, and her answer came as no surprise whatsoever. Oh, all the way. She would walk through fire to protect either of her kids. Any parent would. If they were drowning in the ocean and she couldn't swim, she would dive in to save him anyway. Why is Phyllis such a fierce mama bear? Stafford explains, in part that's because nobody went all the way for her. In some ways that's at the heart of her brokenness. That's how I justify it in my mind. We can't always condone Phyllis' methods, and there's no doubt she'll make matters worse before they get better. But if there's one thing we're confident of, it's that Red won't stop fighting until she helps Daniel beat the false allegations against